Teresa here, and fun fact, we are not afraid of winter camping here at Terra Drift. In fact, I think it's some pretty legit type 2 sort of fun. I like it. I like the look on people's faces when I say that, yeah, yeah, I have spent the night in a tent when temps dropped into the single digits. So what? <laughs> I mean, I often fail to mention how much shivering there was when I chose to pack ultra light instead of bringing the extra bag liner or puffy jacket I knew I should have or how much Tylenol PM was required to actually fall asleep, but insignificant details. Fortunately, winter camping doesn't have to be cold and miserable. Not if you have a super duper cozy zero degree sleeping bag, which I do now. And there were a lot of trips in the past where I I wished I had a super duper cozy zero degree sleeping bag. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't, because that sort of bag can be hard to find when you take down off the table. FYI, if you're new around here, we're vegan here at Terra Drift, so down is a no-go. In any case, synthetic zero degree bags aren't exactly a dime a dozen. In fact, I could probably only list about five right off the top of my head. So yeah. We were pretty stoked to get to try out the Climate Zero Degree Full Synthetic Sleeping Bag. And, uh, spoilers, it is warm AF. Yeah, as in I woke up sweating one morning when the sun rose and temps were suddenly in the mid-30s. Anyway, we were so taken with it we wanted to share it with you so you could get out there and sleep in a tent in single digit temperatures too. And also, stay all snug as a bug in a mummy bag shaped rug. Too much? For starters, this bag is packed with fluffy synthetic fill. It's rated for 0 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 18 degrees Celsius. It's water repellent and because it's synthetic, if it does get wet, it'll still keep you warm. Unlike down. But the real star of the show? These stretch baffles. Which, not gonna lie, the first time I saw a bag with this feature, I thought, why though? Isn't that just like more fabric to pack? Doesn't it make for a heavier load? And why would I want more space in a sleeping bag when less empty space means you're gonna sleep warmer? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Okay, yeah, it obviously doesn't pack down super duper small or ultra light. In fact, it's almost four and a half pounds. That's a relatively heavy bag for backpacking, but for car or front country camping, or if you aren't a gram counter like me, then who cares? Comfort is king if you're not worried about weight. As for warmth, sure, the closer your bag fits to your body, as long as it's not busting at the seams of course, the less empty space your body has to fill with heat and the warmer you'll sleep, hence the traditional mummy shape of most sleeping bags. But I'd say most people don't sleep like a mummy in their bed at home, so it's not necessarily the most comfortable shape for sleeping. That's what makes these stretch baffles so brilliant though. They make it so the bag still fits snugly around you, limiting the amount of empty space, but also allow you to move more freely inside the bag. I mean, you can sit up, you can go crisscross applesauce, curl up into the fetal position, sleep with one knee bent at a 90 degree angle. I mean, I could go on. Like there is a ton of freedom of movement inside this bag, more than any other sleeping bag I've ever tried. And before you go commenting about what a tiny person I am and how I can probably curl into the fetal position in most sleeping bags, well, that's true. But not the point. And I can't do it comfortably or without smashing insulation so that it's no longer effective. Plus, I did have a larger than average sized friend try out the bag and she was quite pleased with how much more she could bend her knees and move around than in a more traditional sleeping bag. So normal sized people give it a seal of approval too. On top of all that, the fabric is soft, the fill is lofty and comfortable, and it's just so dang cozy. The only thing I wasn't obsessed with was the Velcro inside the bag that's meant to seal up the draft collar and the hood. It felt bulky and scratchy and like one more thing I had to fumble to unfasten in the early morning when I'm still half asleep and, you know, my bladder is full. But it's a minor complaint, really. I'd still 100% sleep in this bag outdoors in the winter. 
It only comes in one size, but it is designed to fit a person up to six foot two comfortably. The actual length is over six and a half feet, so slightly taller campers would likely still find it suitable. If you're short like me, well, I, I don't know, stuff your extra clothes in the foot box. That's all I have to say. I have to do that anyway with like every bag ever made. Climate also offers a two year warranty, so you can rest assured they'll take care of you if something goes wrong after you buy. But the bag should last a good long while, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. As for sleeping bag temperature ratings in general, well, We'll put a link to the whole explanation video we did in the description below, but just a reminder, sleeping bags tend to be rated for the temperature limit they can handle, not the temperature at which you're gonna be the most comfortable. So if you are planning on taking out for zero degree nights, maybe bring a bag liner. In any case, I highly recommend you go check out the Climate Zero Degree Full Synthetic Bag if you want to sleep warmer outdoors this winter. So we're gonna put a link to it in the description below. You know the drill, like you get it, right? But before you go, we'd be so totally stoked if you rang the bell and click subscribe. Might as well give this video a thumbs up too while you're at it. Pretty please? Then follow along with Terra Drift all of our adventures and gear reviews on Insta, Facebook, and Twitter. We're at Terra Drift on all the socials. And if you want even more content, like, I don't know, gear guides and destination highlights that you won't see here on YouTube, head over to terradrift.com. Because yeah, we have a website too. But as always, thanks so much for watching. We hope you were both informed and entertained. Now get out there, sleep warm outdoors, and wander on. Like, you just curl up in there and you can move. Like, move your elbows, move your knees, move your feet. You can move in a sleeping bag. When was the last time you were able to move in a sleeping bag? You may not even realize how much you wish you could move in a sleeping bag until you get a sleeping bag in which you can move. I'm just saying, like, give it a shot. Could be life changing. I don't know. I don't know how you sleep, but could be. Um, I think maybe nap time is called for in a sleeping bag, because how else would you nap, honestly? Do you not nap in a sleeping bag? Because that's weird. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna nap in a sleeping bag. All right, peace out.